In a new propaganda video, this man, identified as Abu Abdurrahman al Trinidadi, is referred to by ISIS as an American. He calls on Muslims to join the fight. Please, all law believers, come. Who can make it come? Come to Sham as soon as possible. A senior U.S. intelligence official says the intelligence community is tracking this man, but cannot confirm he's an American. My name is Abu Another man in the video identifies himself as British. Tonight, there is growing concern among U.S. intelligence officials that the threat from ISIS could expand beyond the areas it controls now to include attacks on Western and U.S. interests. The more immediate concern is about the ISIS threat to Europe and what that might mean for what one official called an eventual threat to the U.S. homeland. Intelligence officials say over the past few months, people associated with ISIS have been arrested in Spain and France for plotting attacks and constructing explosive devices. And they confirmed the shooter in the attack on the Jewish Museum in Brussels in May was a member of ISIS. There are urgent calls tonight for the U.S. to help contain the ISIS threat by arming Kurdish forces, now fighting vicious battles against ISIS in northern Iraq. The Kurdish foreign minister said this to CNN. We need the United States and NATO to interfere because we are fighting on behalf of all those who are against terrorism. U.S. officials acknowledge they're sharing intelligence with Kurdish forces, but they insist any U.S. military assistance to the Kurds would be channeled through the Iraqi government in Baghdad. Experts warn arming the Kurds directly comes with a risk. The risk of that equipment falling into the hands of ISIS. If you look at what ISIS is using in the field right now, a lot of that is U.S. military equipment that was taken from the Iraqi army. Another risk, if the U.S. directly gives the Kurds a lot of weapons and other military help and they make real gains on the battlefield, the Kurds might want to kick out not just ISIS, but the Iraqis as well, and make a move to become independent themselves. That, experts say, will create another mess in that region.